Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. You know you who you are according to the Bible, right? So you can understand that you're Israelite. To the tribe of whatever tribe, but you will Benjamin Levi, right? You understand that? So let me help you. What tribe are you really from? Judah. Judah, right? Judah. Judah. All right, all right, all right. I just, I, just, I just want to make sure. 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 Because a lot of our brothers, they say, oh, I know what tribe I'm from, but they don't know what tribe they from. Word. You know, so I just want to make sure that you understand that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. All praise. Brand it out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what the Bible says. Thank you, Mom. Because that's what we are here to teach our people. We are here to teach our people our true identity. You know, like I was saying earlier, you. you know, you're not a black man. You know, you're not a Hispanic man. You're not African American. You know. Nigga, all these names that they give to us, all these derogatory names, and we, we are not these type of people. And we accept it. You know, we not anti-Semitic. Right. I can All right, go ahead, read. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 30. Wait, come on. Also, thou, son of man, the children of, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak. John 9, 31. Verse 31. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they present before thee as my people, and heard thy words, but they will not do them. See that? So yeah, they'll come and they'll hear the words of the Most High, but they will not do them. Let's see. Read on. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. So their heart, they show much love. They be like, oh yeah, I understand, brother. I'm from the tribe of Judah. You know, he he put a um a loudness on that thing. He put a, the line of Judah with the roar on that thing. He said he knew he from the tribe of Judah, you know. Where you went though? Where you went? Okay, he over there. Okay. Just make sure, you know. So that's what our people gotta realize. You know, yes, it's a praise, it's an honor to know who you are. You know, Teacher. biblical speaking, this is a praise and an honor to know who you are. You know you're a black man, a Hispanic man, Native American man, but what you gotta do, you gotta keep the commandments of God. That's that's what you gotta do. You gotta keep the commandments of God. Give me that in um, Revelation 22 and 14. That's what we're teaching our people. You know, you want the kingdom of heaven. You want change. Don't you want change, black man? Don't you want change in your community? Are you tired of all the lies? Are you tired of all the hypocrisies? Are you tired of all the killings of your people? Tired of the black and black crime? Police brutality? What else? It's a lot of things that harm our community. Are you tired of it? Read. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Bring it out. Blessed are they that do his commandments. It's a real blessing. It's a real blessing from God. You know, this is the blessing that everybody needs. You know, talking to a guy today, you know, of course I understand the pain of our people. You know, the people is homeless. Our people is homeless. They're going through a lot of affliction, you know. But like we said, the blessing is going to come once you start to keep the commandments. That's right. You can get a house. Somebody can give you a house, bless you with a house. But at the end of the day, if you're not keeping the commandments, then that was in vain. That was for nothing. Because at the end of the day, that house and everything in it, along with you, going to get burnt up. So read it from the top again. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Bring it out. Blessed are they that do his commandments. 
that they might have right to the tree of life. The tree of life, eternal life, immortality, you know, that every man was once given to, you know. Every man had immortality, you know. But through the sin of our foremother Eve, all hell broke loose. Now you see sin is full of fool in the earth. You see all types of abomination, wickedness. And that's what we try to tell our sisters. They trying to be the man, try to wear the pants in the household. Sit down, be humble. Play in your righteous place. We don't. And they have, and they enter in through the gates into the city. It's time for us to come back to our proper place, you know, us being guys of the earth. You black, you black man, Spanish man, Native American man, you Israelite man, you are the guys of the earth. So it's time for you to start and come back and be that guy That's that the right. Most High told, told you to be. That's right. That's you right. women, you be them virtuous women. You be the princess that the Most High told you to be. That's right. Don't try to be equal to the man. That's a, that's the only way you're going to get into the gates of the city, the right. kingdom of heaven. Wake them up. The eternal life. Wake them up. That's it. That's it on that. Yeah, go back to uh, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Give me that. So, don't, don't worry, y'all. We are here to give you a good, a give you a blessing of the Lord. The Lord tells you that just keep the commandments. That's all you got to do. Just keep the commandments. It's honoring that thing. Read. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. See that? So the Bible tells us to hear the word of the Lord. He made us a watchman. So we're watching over our people. We're watching over our people's souls. We're trying to tell them that repent. Therefore, keep the commandments. That's right. We're trying to tell you, get the get eternal life, to get the kingdom, keep the commandments. That's Everything right. boils, to, uh, boils down to keeping the commandments. That's what you got to do. If you don't know that, that's what you got to do. Get out of the Christian churches. They don't even teach, they're not teaching y'all anything. What is the Christian church teaching you? They're teaching you lies. You don't even know your nationality. Wait, come on. A Christian church is down the street Yet, yeah, therefore, many of you don't know your nationality. That's right. So what are they teaching you? Teaching you lies. Teaching you Jesus white. But let's see. Let's see. Something simple as that uh, image. Let's get that. Teach Revelation 1 and 14. Yeah. And that's what we all need to do. It says, son of man, we are watchmen for our people. So we watching over y'all to make sure come out of the lies. Come over to the lies of that America is teaching you. Teach on. Revelation 1 and 1. Let's see. Let's see the let's see the revealing, revealing of Jesus Christ. Let's see the revealing of Jesus Christ. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. See that? So the, uh, the Lord came to us to show the people what's the true image. How the curse really look? Is he really white? Let's see. John. Let's see. Jump down to verse 14. Wake him up. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So let's make a comparison. Since y'all believe in white man Jesus, y'all think white man Jesus is going to save y'all. Let's, let's, let's see the comparison. It said his head was what like what? Were white like wool. As white like wool. Who had woolly hair today? Who had white woolly hair? Or who had woolly hair? So-called black people. That's right. You so-called black people that walking around right now. That's right. Christ look just like y'all. The ones that cross the street selling drugs. Christ look just like y'all. Wake them up. Yeah, I want y'all to hear me today. 
Free. As white as snow. White as snow. You can't get a white man out of that. Stop believing in your white image. He's not gonna save you. That's right. The white man ain't gonna save you. Wake him up. Whenever white man save you out of your condition. Think about it. Teach on. Your grandmamas, your grandfathers, when have they taught or grabbed anybody out of their condition? They're ready to put you in your condition. They're ready to put Planned Parenthoods in your uh, community. This is what they're ready to do. Let's finish this up. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. See that? His eyes. His eyes was as a flame of fire. So why would Christ's eyes as a flame of fire? Because Christ draw wine in moderation. So when you look at this white image, he got blue eyes. So how can this image relate to the true image of God? It can't. Caesar bought jail. He can't. How much, how much he tried to be an imposter, trying to be an imposter, that's just, that's just how they roll. They try to be the imposter of our people. They try to play the roles of everybody. All the angels, all the prophets. God, Christ. But it's not so. Let's get the prophecy. Let's explain the prophecy while Christ's eyes were read. Read it out. Read. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. See that? His eyes shall be red with wine. Wine. Read. And his teeth white with milk. So that's the prophecy on that. Christ's eyes was red because he drunk wine in moderation. That's right. That's what y'all gotta understand. Y'all have to understand who is your true Messiah? What? How does he look? He's your brother. He's your friend. He's your savior. So y'all have to understand that Christ looked just like y'all. Bring it out. Bring it Go up. back to Revelation 1 and 14. Bring it out. Y'all have to understand that thing. Uh, you can start from the top. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine prayer. So now we get into his feet now. So now we're about to see the color of his feet. Does his feet change? Does it change the color? His color has his color changed? Let's see. His feet like a to what? Like a to fine brass. Fine brass. The amazing immaculate brass. What color is brass? Brass is a derivative of brown. That's right. In case y'all don't know, brass is a derivative of brown. And it says as if it burned in a what? As if it burned in a furnace. It says as if it burned in a furnace. So it's just like putting anything in the furnace, what color does it come out? Of course it's gonna come out black, it's gonna come out burnt. So they say you put brass, the color of fine brass into a furnace, and it comes out very dark. So Christ was a very dark skinned man. So you can't get a white man out of that. So stop believing the lies. Like I said, a Christian church is up the street and on y'all block, on y'all community. Teach y'all. They ain't not teaching y'all this. That's right. Bring it up. They ain't not teaching y'all this. Wake them up. They teaching y'all to be zombies. Wake them up. Every time I look around, somebody walking around high as hell. What? High as hell. <laughs> Selling drugs. They probably got the whole block down there. Teach y'all. Bring it up. Yeah, read that. Bring that out. The book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. Bring it out. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Right. So you have to believe on Christ as the scripture says. You know, everything that the Bible has said, you got to do. You got to do. That's simple. Like 
Man, we tell y'all repentance. We tell y'all, put a beard on your face, you man. Put a beard on your face. That's a commandment. That's simple. That's something that you can do. That's right. right. That's why we've been to watch me of our people, because your Christian church ain't going to do that. That's something simple. And if you don't believe that, let's see. Give me uh, Matthew 19. Let's see. Let's see if it's a beard or us wearing fringes on our clothing. Let's see if that's something simple or something that we call a least commandment. It's just a least commandment. It's something easy that we can do. We can go to the, um, we can go to the Michaels, get fringes. You can order off Amazon, get fringes. T John. You know, get a rip in the blue Hobby Lobby. That's right. You can go to these stores and you can grab the things that you need to keep the commandments. That's right. Matthew 19, uh, about 5 and uh, 17, excuse me. Matthew 5 and verse 17. Read. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Bring it out. Think not they ask that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So don't think that everything that we're speaking, you know, oh, that was Old Testament. Oh, that's done away with. No, it still exists. Right. As long as the children of Israel are here, it still exists. The commandments of God still exist. You know, you got to wear your beard. You got to wear your fringes. You women got to put on a dress. Adorn yourself in models of apparel. Why you want to keep showing yourself? Why you want to keep, continue to sell drugs? And they get home? I don't understand. Finish that out. For verily, I say unto you, to heaven and earth pass, one shot, one tittle. Heaven and earth still here, we still standing, we still talking, we still walking to do our madness, our wickedness. So, yes, y'all still have a chance to repent. Y'all still have a chance because the heaven and the earth is still here. That's right. Free. Shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. See that? So now we get into what we were about to go to. He said the least commandments. Say whosoever break one of the least commandments. It's talking about whosoever. It's talking about the Israelites. Right. You Israelites, that's who it's talking about. Because everybody don't have this book. Stop believing that this book is for all nations. That's right. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. Christianity ain't teaching you that. They ain't teaching. They teaching that the Bible is for everybody. Everybody can be saved. So that whosoever is Christ is talking about is talking about you Israelites. We'll prove that in a second. And shall teach men so. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So, what's that least commandment? You wearing your beard. You man wearing your beard. Wearing the fringes on your clothing. Men and women. You women wearing a hair cover when the scriptures are coming out. When it's been prophecy, when prophesying. You adorn yourself in modest apparel. All these things that you can keep, you can keep the Sabbath day holy. That's right. No buying, no cooking, no selling. That's it's easy. Right. It's easy to keep these commandments. But it says, whosoever teach man so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. That means you're not getting the kingdom of heaven. You're not getting the kingdom of heaven. And like I said, once again, Christianity is not teaching you that. So that means your pastors is not going to get the kingdom of heaven unless they teach you otherwise. That's right. Unless they teach you otherwise. Teach y'all. Now let's prove that, whosoever. Wait, mom. Let's prove that who this book is for. Who is the whosoever talking about? Who is it referring to? Is it referring to everybody? Or just one group of people? Let's see. Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. He says, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. Let's see who it's talking about, because I know a lot of y'all say, oh man, it said whosoever. See, I told you it said everybody talking about all nations. Let's see. Shall be saved, ye men of Israel. Ye men of who? Ye men of Israel. Oh man, I thought it said all nations. Let's see, let's let read it again. Ye 
men of Israel. See that? Ye men of Israel. That's who the whosoever is referred to. So only you can keep these commandments. Only you as a people are going to get judged. That's how it's so easy to come out here and we can show our people the conditions they are in through the Bible because the Bible is for you. The Bible is not for everybody. You don't see um, Elam going through this. East Indian man going through the conditions that we're going through. The Chinese man going through what we're going through. The Japanese man going through what we're going through. You don't see that happening. You don't see Amalek. You don't see, you don't see none of these people going through what we're going through. That's why this book can't be for everybody. So stop letting them teach you the book. Teach on. Cause they gonna teach you nothing but lies. Hypocrisy. Wake them up. Let's get that. So, brother, walking across the street with the purple shirt on. You in this world coming out right now. We try to tell our people, keep the commandments of God. We want our people to repent. That's what we teach our people. We teach our people by identity. So check that flower out that their brother gave you. Because we are here teaching our people a good deed. We're teaching our people what they must do for their savior to come save them, which is Christ, the black Messiah. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth